Hi, welcome to Splitting Atom. Even though I set up my home lab with a bunch of cool services, my kids were not impressed. That all changed when I gave them their own Wi-Fi network that had ad blocking from Pi-hole. From an architectural perspective, what that looks like is somebody in the house with the device, if they choose Skynet, which is my regular Wi-Fi, that traffic will go out over Windows DNS, which will, go, which will just receive everything from the public internet. But if they want ad blocking, they'll select Skynet Shadow, which will use which will replace the regular DNS with Pi-hole for its DNS. Pi-hole will then any traffic that goes over it, it'll look at the request and any URLs that are in there, or IP addresses that come from some of the um, the the heavy adware sites, uh, that that traffic will get blocked. So all you'll get back is the content. Now, for my Mac, what this looks like is when I'm selecting my Wi-Fi networks, there's Skynet, and if I want to get ad blocking, I'll choose this Skynet Shadow. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through the setup and show you how I set it up. You can do it a little differently if you want, but I'm going to show you how I did it, uh, and maybe this will help you in the future. So I've set up on my, uh, on my virtualization server, I've got a new server called my server. Um, and I've got my IP address. I'm actually SSH'd into that right now over here with, uh, uh, in this terminal window. So I'm gonna do my setup today. So uh, I'm gonna give you the links to these different sites I'm gonna show you, but this is the site, the, the site for Pi-hole. Um, if I'm doing the Docker install, it'll take me to their GitHub repo. And what, so I'm going to do the Docker install and I'm going to actually do that with Docker Compose. And if you go on their repo, they've got a really nice basic uh, Docker Compose file uh, that you can use. So uh, back over on the terminal window, I'm going to go, and I've already created a directory called PyHole. I'm going to CD into that directory. And then I'm going to use VI and I'm going to make a Docker Compose file. .yml. And then I'm going to do an insert and I'm going to take this from this uh, web page here. I'm going to grab the uh, Docker Compose. Let me copy that and I'm going to paste this in over here. And we're not going to do, there's, there's some custom configuration you can do and some different uh, uh, options you can set. I'm not going to worry about those today. Uh, so I'm going to just save this. I'm going to do uh, WQ. So I've got it saved. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this up. So I've already installed on this machine. Uh, I've got Docker and Docker Compose running. Um, there's some great tutorials out there on the internet. I will do a tutorial for that in the future. Um, but you'll have to have Docker and Docker Compose running and that Docker service running also. So I've got both running already. So I'm going to go Docker Compose. Up. And then I'm going to do a dash D so that I don't have to see all the log. And so what's happening is this is uh, Docker Compose is using Docker to go get everything uh, to go build that image, and it's getting the latest Pi-hole image. Okay, now that's up and running. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you, uh, to go and see the admin screen for this, all you gotta do is you'll put in the IP address. Mine was 211, and you'll do a slash admin. So there I've got it. Real quick, I was able to use Docker and Docker Compose, a YAML file, and I was able to go and do Docker Compose up and bring that service up. You can see I've got the service up and running. Now on my machine, so this was on, uh, in my network, this is on that my server, and it was uh, that dot .211 IP address. Mine that I've already got running is this dot .101, and so it's 192.168.1.101. You can see I've got it already running. It's already been taking queries and blocking ads over time. So I've got this running. I'm going to show you how I set it up on my Unify network uh, to have those different networks I can switch between so I can get either my, uh, my regular DNS or a pie hole for ad blocking. 
So I'm in the, now I'm in the Unify uh, setup. Let me make this a little bigger for you. So I'm in Unify, I go into settings, and if I go look at networks, he, these are the different networks I have set up in my house. The one I wanna look at is uh, Shadow. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna show you LAN, which is my, or uh, uh, Wi-Fi, which is down here. This is my regular Wi-Fi network. And you can see when somebody's on Wi-Fi, it's actually, uh, I've got it set up to use uh, that dot at 192.168.1.3. That's my regular Windows DNS. You could do this as auto and it would just use the DNS from your, uh, from your internet provider. But what I wanna show you is my shadow network that I've created. I created a network called Shadow. Um, that's on, uh, for me, it's my VLAN 66. And for the DHCP name server, I went manual and I've got the IP address of my Pi Hole. I actually have two Pi Hole servers running. Um, so I've got both of my, those, those Pi Hole uh, servers that are, uh, that are there. So I've entered those in. And then what I've done is I've taken that network and I've then attached it to one of my wireless networks, this being Skynet Shadow. And if you look on Skynet Shadow for the network, when somebody connects to Skynet Shadow, it routes that traffic over the Shadow network, which is that one that would use uh, Pi-hole. So that was a quick setup of this. Um, I, I'll have the, in the notes below, I'll have the steps that I went through to set this up, um, plus the links that I used. Um, thanks a lot. Please come back. Please check out my GitHub if there's any code that I use in my uh, uh, demos. And uh, please subscribe if you found this interesting. All right. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.